Let's Talk Love and Lovability. So what I love about this is if we think about A Course in Miracles, some of you may know A Course in Miracles and some of you may not, but there is a saying in The Course in Miracles that goes something like, only what you are withholding in any situation can really be missing. Now I'm totally paraphrasing, but just think about that. So in any given situation, only what you are not giving is not there. So think about that in terms of love. I'm sure you've been in a situation where you're in a relationship, you're trying to connect to someone, be it a, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, someone that you're dating, maybe it's a family member, and you don't feel as connected as you want to feel. You don't feel as close as you want to feel. Maybe you're not feeling loved. This happened to me. It was several years back and I was with my man and he actually was quite smart in the moment. Well, he's often smart, but this time he was really smart. So I said to him, I don't feel very loved by you. You don't feel warm. I don't feel very connected. You're not touching me or hugging me. And he looked at me and the question he asked was really, really profound. He said, how lovable do you feel in the moment? And he didn't say it ugly. So it was, it allowed me to kind of go inside and really feel. And what I recognized in that moment of reflection was I didn't feel really lovable at all. I felt like I had a hard outside shell. I felt edgy, I felt prickly. And I said, wow, that's a fair question. I don't feel very lovable at all. And it allowed me to soften. My heart softened, I softened, my energy softened. And I thought, if I don't feel lovable, how can I actually receive love? We can't receive what we think we're not. We can't receive what we're not deserving of or what we fear we're not deserving of. So in that moment, I softened, I felt more lovable, which made him respond accordingly. So he wrapped his arm around me, we had a great dinner and we felt very connected. And it was a really profound moment that stuck with me for years because I realized I can't really receive love if I'm not feeling lovable. So think about that in terms of your relationships, right? Who you're connected with, what you're wanting from the situation. Maybe you want warmth, maybe you want nurturing. Maybe you want more love. Maybe you want more sex. So the question is, what are you withholding? What are you not bringing? What are you not showing up with that's keeping you from getting that? Because chances are when you shift on your end, everyone is going to respond accordingly. Your partner is going to respond accordingly. We are in every moment creating our world, right? Our thoughts are creating our reality. Our beliefs are creating our reality. So if we don't feel lovable, we're not gonna be able to receive it. If we don't feel loving, we're not gonna be giving it. So how can you check if you're not getting the needs met that you wanna have met? What are you withholding from the situation that's keeping you from getting what you want? How are you not creating the world that you want? It's easy to blame it on someone else or put the responsibility on another person, but we can't control another person. We can only get what we want by controlling ourselves and the world responds accordingly. Hope that helped.